Hello lovelies, today I'm doing a quick everyday glam makeup look and I'm not using any false lashes so let's start this makeup but before we begin do subscribe to my channel my name is Afifa Adil and I make videos every week. So I'm starting off by moisturizing my face with Clinique Moisture Surge and once I'm done with this I'm applying the Farsali Unicorn Essence Drops to my face to further hydrate my skin. Now I'm using the Dior Forever foundation in the shade 20 and I'm using a damp beauty blender to apply it to my face. Going in with my concealer, this is a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and I'm applying it under my eyes and also around the mouth area. Using the same damp beauty blender to blend it. Time to use some setting powder. This is a Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm gonna bake my under eye area with this, so I'm leaving some of it on there. Time for contouring. I'm taking this shade from the KKW Powder Contour Kit and applying it under the cheekbones, under the jawline, and around my forehead. Also contouring my nose using the same powder. I'm using a Morphe brush. This is from the Copper's Dream Set. I'm taking the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and priming my eyelids. I'm using the Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. You can see I've hit the pan with some of the shades, so I'm actually using this like almost every day. So I'm gonna take the shade Factory from this palette and I'm gonna apply it using the Morphe M507 brush. This is slightly tapered, this brush, and it's ideal for blending. I'm basically using this shade over the crease. I'm gonna blend it really well. It's gonna go inside the crease and just slightly around the crease area. I'm taking the MAC 217 brush and I'm applying this shade Burnout on my eyelids. This is a lighter shade and it's going to blend really nicely towards the crease. I'm taking the E27 Morphe brush and I'm taking this lighter shade from the palette. I'm using it to soften that crease shade and just sort of smoothening it over the edges. This shade is called Limit. I'm taking the MAC 219 number brush and this first wider shade I'm highlighting my brow bone with it. It's the shade Strange. And now I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Ebony. I don't do too much detail for my everyday look. I sort of just fill them in. I'm taking the Caron D Trooper Eyeliner, uh, the ink liner, and I'm drawing the boundary for this wing line. Once the boundary is done, I'm going to just fill this in. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara and I'm applying it on my lashes. Since I'm not using any false lashes, I'm trying to apply uh, the mascara as much as possible. With Sephora Pro Shader brush number 18, I'm applying this shade over my lower lash line. It's the shade Nooner from the same palette. 
Now I'm using the Sigma Inner Rim Brightener Pencil. This is the shade Final Touch. And with a clean brush, I'm gonna just brush off this excess powder. I'm also buffing in that same Laura Mercier powder on my face. Now I'm taking the NARS Torrid Blush and I'm applying it over my cheeks using the buffing brush by Real Techniques. I'm taking the Too Faced Prismatic Highlighter in Love Hangover and I'm using the 79 number brush by Sephora to highlight my cheekbones, also my forehead and the chin. With the MAC 219 brush, I'm highlighting the cupid bow and also the bridge of my nose. Also gonna apply some of it in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm taking the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Bombshell. And without a lip liner, I'm just straight away going in with this lipstick. So this would be my complete makeup for my everyday glam look. But I feel like using some bronzer. Here I'm using the MAC Biana Bronze. And this just makes it look very natural and really the whole makeup look comes together with this. I'm using the brush that comes with this bronzer. So yeah, this is my completed makeup look. This makeup look is something I would do every day. And yeah, um, I could do a little less than this, but I love doing makeup and I love putting on some eyeliner. And yeah, it's easy to do. There's no false lashes. I hope you liked this video and if you did, do subscribe to my channel and I will have all the details to the makeup used here in the description box below. So do check that out. Until next time, stay fashionable, stay happy. Bye.